Welcome back to Megan's Table. Today I am making frozen pizzas. They are cheaper and probably a lot better for you than what you can buy at the grocery store. You're going to start by preheating your oven to 500 degrees. Yes, you heard that correctly, 500 degrees. We're not gonna be baking it very long, just to set the dough. I'm gonna grease the countertop and get out my pizza dough. Of course, you can use any pizza dough that you have on hand or that you wanna make. Of course, my recipe is my favorite. Today, I made it with a little bit of whole wheat, actually mostly whole wheat flour and some all-purpose flour. Anyways, it was super soft, really good and delicious. So I'm gonna roll this out to something that resembles a circle. That's what I was going for here, if you couldn't tell. Of course, you make any shape you want, but you know, we aim for the traditional circle pizza roll. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put it onto a greased pan. I have a pizza stone, but you can use any kind of pan, of course. And then I just fold over the edges, kind of make it look a little pretty, you know. It's gonna taste delicious, but you eat with your eyes first. So once I am done with the edges, I'm going to grab a fork. Yes, that is a fork. And poke holes all over. This is going to eliminate, hopefully, the uh, chances of bubbles coming up. And then I'm going to put it in a 500 degree oven for exactly four minutes. Once the pizza is finished in the oven, you're going to want to just let it cool for a minute or two and continue with your regular toppings just like you would make your pizzas. You all know we love tomato sauce with just oregano and garlic powder in there, so that's what I'm putting on right now. You don't want to put too much sauce because it, you run the risk of it being too soggy in the freezer. And then good old mozzarella cheese. And I'm just doing a cheese pizza tonight just to show you an example of what I, how I freeze my pizza. So I'm gonna go continue to put on the cheese, spread it around, make sure it's evenly distributed. You know what I'm saying? Now you're going to pull out the plastic wrap. This is the ginormous Costco size, but of course any kind will work. Saran wrap, store wrap, whatever. And I'm just gonna pull out two rows. I'm creating kind of the base of the way I'm going to wrap the pizza. And then gently take the pizza and put it on top of the plastic wrap. It's not fully cooked, of course, so just be careful with it. And then I'm going to wrap up the edges and continue to do some extra wrap. The goal here is to make sure that it's all in the wrap. Pretty simple. So you want to make sure it's not going to get freezer burn. You know, that kind of thing. And then I'm going to do one more strip across it and below. And then I'm going to put it in my freezer. And like I said, this isn't going to be there too long because we'll probably eat it soon, but it could be for a few months. I like to put it in the freezer on my pizza pan so it can get that shape. And then I can always take the pan out and use it. Take it out. You're going to treat it just like a store-bought frozen pizza. You're going to bake about 425 for 15, 17 minutes. And bam, you got homemade pizza, but you didn't have to make it that day. For more videos like this, hit the red subscribe button, like, and comment. Let me know if you try this recipe. Thanks, y'all.